with us we have Namibian professional cyclist Dan Craven. Dan, now you've recently um, joined a new team in Britain. Tell us about that. Yes, uh, only last week I finalised everything. I will be joining Sigma Sports Specialised in 2012. Uh, at least that is what the team has been called over the past few years. On the 12th of December they'll be announcing a brand new sponsor, which is really exciting news, uh, which is also a long-term sponsor, so the team is quite excited about that. Okay, and leaving Rafa Kondoshop, why was that? Uh, well, I've been with Rafa Kondoshop for three years now, and it's just time for a change, time to move on. Uh, I'm moving to a team on a similar level, but within the team I'm stepping up. I'm hoping to be able to ride for myself more often. And um, also the fact that Rafa Condor Sharp has changed their focus. They're going to be focusing more on the younger riders in the future. So this is a perfect opportunity for me to, you know, take the next step. Right. Now, as we know, you've qualified for the Olympics. So that would be your main aim for next year, I suppose? Yes. Well, obviously, Olympics is a big thing. So that is on the 28th of July, the, the cycling road race. Uh, that's my main goal of the season, but obviously with Sigma Sports Specialized, we have a whole season worth of racing, and there is going to be the Russ in Ireland, which I'd like to do well in, as well as the Tour of Britain at the end of the year. So there are lots of races that I'm going to aim for to do well in, but the Olympics will obviously be the highlight. Right, and uh, you once again had bad luck uh, just a few days ago um, when you went on a training run and was in, you were involved in an accident. What happened there? Yes, well, it was one of those things where it doesn't matter. Like, I couldn't have done anything about it. I was just cycling down the western bypass around Vintuk and um, in the yellow line, which is you know exactly where cyclists should be riding, riding in a straight line and a car overtook me and turned left in front of me to turn into the country club and just there was nowhere for me to go but into the car and then down on the tile. Uh, I landed quite heavily on my back and hit my head as well so now it's a week later and my lower back is still sore, um, hasn't quite sorted itself out yet so it's affected my training quite a bit but you know, I think in two weeks' time it'll all be forgotten. 